Thanksgiving is a holiday to remember and rejoice in God's provision and blessing in our lives. This week in Walk Talks, take time to ground your gratitude in Scripture and revive your heart to continually offer sacrifices of thanksgiving to our Lord. Let this podcast series by Malachi Herbster be a reminder to be a person who cultivates a habit of thanksgiving. Hey, good morning and welcome back to the Walk Talks podcast. I'm Malachi Herbster and I am just super excited to be with you here today. Super excited for a new week. Super excited for this week where we're able to celebrate Thanksgiving. Man, I woke up this morning super excited for the things to come this week. Uh, Not to mention all the food that we'll be able to enjoy on uh, Thursday. Man, I absolutely love eating all that turkey and the mashed potatoes and gravy and all the pie. Oh man, I'm starting to salivate just thinking about it. But hey, I really wanted to take some time this week to draw our attention to um, Thanksgiving and what that means for us as Christians. And I've titled this series, this mini series this week, The Habit of Thanksgiving. You know, we've all probably heard it said at some point in our lives that you know, this Thanksgiving day shouldn't just be a day of Thanksgiving or even a week of Thanksgiving, but it ought to be a lifestyle of Thanksgiving. You know, I think that's something that we all kind of think, oh, it's kind of cliche to say around the Thanksgiving season, but hey, this is so true. And it's a great reminder for us as believers to really establish the habit of being a person of thanks. And I love this idea of a habit because a habit is something that you go back to constantly. You know, we all have certain habits and hobbies maybe in our life that we are continually um, pouring time into and going back to. And I firmly believe, and we, and we are commanded by scripture to be people um, of thanksgiving. And this is a habit that we ought to cultivate in our life. We really ought to be seeking to cultivate this attitude of gratitude in our life. You know, the world celebrates Thanksgiving and we celebrate Thanksgiving, but we have a whole different perspective on what Thanksgiving looks like because of all that God has done for us. And we have so much to be thankful for. You know, I can't help but think of the song, Count Your Many Blessings, Name Them One by One, and it'll surprise you what the Lord has done. When we just take some time to think about what God has done for us, man, it's amazing to see what God um, really has done for us. And, and we have, we could spend hours just giving thanks over and over and over again to the Lord for the amazing and marvelous things that he has done in our life. So this week, I really want to build for us what it looks like to be a person of thanks and how we can cultivate this habit of thanksgiving. Today, I want to focus in on the priority of thanksgiving, the priority of thanksgiving, and and the fact that we as believers are commanded um, to give thanks. You know, Spurgeon once said, the better thing than thanksgiving is thanks living. How can this be done? Uh, By a general cheerfulness of manner, by an obedience to the command of him whose mercy we live by a perpetual, constant delighting of ourselves in the Lord, and by a submission of our own desires to his will. You know, I love that, guys, because it has the idea of us taking our our focus and our thoughts completely off of ourselves and putting them onto those things that God has done for us and that others have done for us. And he uses the words perpetual and constant and delighting ourselves in God and obedience, continual. You know, we understand that this is a command that is directly um, given to us by our commander in chief himself, God. We are commanded in the Bible to be people of thanks. This is why Thanksgiving, a life of Thanksgiving, ought to be a priority in our life. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 is a very familiar verse, but it says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Guys, in everything 
we are to give thanks. I don't know what's going on in your life today, but there's definitely something that you are able to give thanks for. In everything, God says, you are able to give thanks. You know, it makes me ask myself, man, maybe I'm just not looking deep enough for the things to thank God for. Because God clearly states it in his word that we can give thanks in everything. Because this is his will. Uh, This is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. It is his will for us to be people who are giving thanks. People who are cultivating this attitude, this habit of thanksgiving. Colossians 3.17 says, And whatsoever ye do in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Again, we see in anything that we do, whether it be in word or in deed, whatever you're saying, whatever actions you're doing, we are to do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. And as we are doing those things, we must be giving thanks to God. Guys, this is the priority that we are seeing the priority that we must place. God has placed a high priority on on living a life of thanksgiving. And God is commanding us to do that same exact thing. We must be people of thanksgiving. There's a high priority on this. And then I want to draw our attention finally to Ephesians 5 and verse 20, where the Bible says, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, giving thanks always. This isn't giving thanks sometimes, giving thanks only when things are going well. No, this is giving thanks always, continually in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so this is, we're seeing that this is the priority of thanksgiving. If you wanna be a person who has the habit of being thankful. If you're, if you're a person who desires to be a person of gratitude, a person who is appreciative of all that is given to them, you must place a high priority, the same priority that God places on Thanksgiving. And what better time for us to reassess this, guys, than this time of Thanksgiving? And let us not um, be improper stewards of this time that God has given to us. Let us not let another week just pass by. Let another Thanksgiving pass by where we do not reassess our, our attitude, our habits of Thanksgiving. So this begs the question for us today, Christian, are you a person of thanks? Are you a person who places a high priority on giving thanks to God and giving thanks to others? giving thanks in all things, as we have seen in these three verses. God's clear about it, that we must be people of thanksgiving. There is a priority of thanksgiving. So today, I wanna ask you, are you a person that is prioritizing a life of thanks? Are you a person who is taking time intentionally to thank God for all things that he has done for us? You know, this week we're gonna look at a bunch of different aspects of this idea of thanksgiving and how we can make this a habit, how we can constantly be abiding in a life of thanksgiving and what that looks like for us as believers. And this is where it all starts, that each and every one of us would prioritize a life of thanksgiving, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you're giving thanks to the Lord for the great things that he has done for you in your life. Have a great day and we will see you again tomorrow here on the Walk Talks podcast. Thanks for being a part of Walk Talks today by listening and subscribing to our podcast. Follow us on social media for sneak peeks at future episodes and to share your favorites with others who would benefit as well. We hope your heart has been enriched by God's word to take your next step in following Christ.